Hey guys, Ozgrellis here, and today we're going to do stream labels on stream elements, which can also be ported to stream labs. Let's do it. Alright guys, first things first, a little bit about this channel is we do streaming tutorial videos, we do Twitch tutorial videos, we have podcast episodes from our podcast Talking Corner, where you go over ways that you can grow your stream. We also have solo videos on ways to improve your different social medias. So make sure you check them out and hit that sub button. Let's get to the video. All right, so first up, what you want to do is go to streamelements.com, log in into your channel, and then we're going to go to my overlays here. You're going to go to create blank overlay. And we're going to want to do 1080p, which is what your stream will be. All right, so we've got a blank overlay here. This will work for both OBS, uh, for Stream Elements and for Stream Labs, you can still use this stuff on Stream Labs as well. So I know a lot of people are gonna be coming across from my Stream Labs, Stream Label video. There's been some API issues over there and some of the follows and subscribes and stuff like that aren't actually showing up on Stream Labs. So if you have an issue there, you can always make it here and then use a browser source to take it to Stream Labs. I'll show you how to do that as well. All right, so if we want to add stream labels in, first of all, I'm going to add my overlay. So I'm going to hit add widget. And then I'm going to go down to static and custom and go add a video. I'm going to go change video, and then I'm going to hit cowboy overlay one. So this is the one that we were used for cowboy. As you can see here, it's already got latest subscriber, latest follower, top donation, and latest donation there. So if you have something like that, then you can just make the stream labels for that. All right, now we want to add our stream labels in. We got a little plus button here. We're going to go to labels. As I've got latest subscriber down the bottom there, I'm going to go to subscribers and go latest and latest subscriber. Up here, it's here. Latest subscriber Patrick two eight zero seven two. I don't do not want to have latest subscriber there because I've already got latest subscriber down here. So what I'm going to do is go to the message here and get rid of that bit and just leave name in the brackets there for later subscriber and then I'll just drag it down to where it goes and then you can use the arrow keys to get it as straight as possible and there we go we've got latest subscriber we'll do the same again for latest follower we'll go to labels follows latest follower and there again we don't need the latest follower text so we go up here and get rid of that and bring it down as well and put it in a position that you're comfortable with. There you go. And use the arrow keys again. And you can also change the text by going to text settings and you can change everything here. Um, you know, as well as width and stuff like that. It's pretty good just off this. And you go to labels, go to tips. Um, latest tipper, we got Dundee Mick. So same again, we want to, we don't want latest tipper there, so we get rid of that. Then you can choose whether to keep currency or not. Just bring that here. And then top donation. I don't know if we'd have that. No, we would. Total and all time. Top tip. But no data there uh, for some reason. But not a lot of donations coming through anyway. So you'd kind of just do the same thing again there. There's still no data there. Alright, so once you're happy with it, and it looks pretty good, what you would do is you would go up here and hit save. And you know, whatever, I'm going to call it stream labels. Um, does that work? Stream labels like that. You can always add all your other overlays and stuff in here as well. Like obviously, I'm just showing you how to do the stream labels, but you can get your alert box and you know heaps of other stuff in here as well. All right, so now the fun bit is you go to copy link URL, which is up here. This little link. If you're using OBS, what you would do then. So what you would do is you would go up here and add a new source, browser source, type in whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it stream label, go OK. I'm going to make the height, uh, the width 1920 and the height 1080. 
and then you want to paste your URL into there and then you want to hit OK and as you can see it's now come up down here and then if you want to do it on Streamlabs I'll bring up Streamlabs as well So you're going to do it on Streamlabs as well, you do the same thing, you'd add a new source, add a browser source. Um, you make it 1920 by 1080 again, so it fits. And then you would put the URL in again. <clears throat> and it should come up here, there you go. So you can do it on Streamlabs and Stream Elements. Uh, which is quite good considering it's coming from there. You can do stuff from Streamlabs over to Stream Elements as well with the same browser source. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Sub to the channel. We've got ninety odd videos on here with all streaming content, tips, tutorials, everything. So make sure you check them out. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys very much. I'll see you next time.